Hey guys, I'm Jay and welcome to the Bournemouth v Liverpool reaction and analysis video. Well, I was right in saying Klopp would make a lot of changes, uh, but I don't even think anybody would have thought he'd make a 10. Um, one of them being the keeper uh, making his debut. Uh, but after Dortmund on Thursday and the small matter of the Merseyside derby in midweek to come, you can't really blame Klopp for uh, making the changes. Uh, but despite all the changes, we dominated the majority of the first half, but we didn't really make any clear-cut chances. That was until the last five minutes, uh, when Sturridge did really well, held the ball uh, up well inside the bomb box, around six yards out, and then tried an audacious back heel shot. Uh, it would have been an amazing goal, guys, if it had come off, but unfortunately for Sturridge, uh, Burak palmed the ball, and stopped it going in, but it fell straight into the path of Firmino in the right spot at the right time, guys. And there, uh, taps it in from close range. And Firmino was the only player who retained his place as well from uh, Thursday. Uh, then, after that, just before half time, I think it was two minutes into stoppage time, uh, we got a free kick uh, about what? 35 yards out, a bit towards the left. And uh, Jordan, Jordan Ibe is standing over it, whips in an absolutely amazing cross, pinpoint accuracy, right onto the Sturridge's uh, head. And bang, 2 0, brilliant header from Sturridge, bottom corner, Bur Burak, no chance of getting there. And 2 0, red men at half time. I'm a pretty happy guy at half time. You know, 2 0 up, 10 changes, a lot of youngsters out there. But they're looking good, they're looking comfortable on the ball, looking good defensively, looking good going forward. I, I was pretty happy with the first half. Uh, second half, just a few minutes after we started again, Burak gave a corner away. I have no idea what he was thinking, he spilt it out. Uh, then the corner comes in and he spills that straight to Firmino, but unfortunately Roberto just blasts it wide and lets uh, Burak off the hook. Uh, shortly later as well, Sturridge has another chance to get a second. Uh, Joe Allen plays him in superbly, nice little ball. And uh, Sturridge dinks it past Burak and it just hits the post and goes out for the goal kick. So frustrating if it had hit even half an inch to the left, it would have hit the frame of the goal a bit more. Bounced back and Firmino would have tapped it in for his second. So we were a little unlucky there. Still tuning a lot, still looking a little dangerous as well. Uh, and Sturridge again hits the woodwork a little later and then also killed an effort just over the bar but I must admit Sturridge looking in good shape, looking fit and he's looking like he's in form guys, he's in goal scoring form now which is something we have missed uh, Welsh keeper Danny Ward who's made his debut today for us uh, relatively quiet first half, he had I think one shot on target Adam which was Basically straight had him, nothing really major to do. Uh, second half, man, he had a lot more to do. Uh, and he didn't let anyone down, guys. Uh, he denied Josh King twice. Great save from a uh, grab on his uh, close range header. Uh, but he did make one error. Cross comes in, he comes for it. Doesn't quite claim it. They have a shot. Stopped on the line by Sacco, it rebounds out of the box, they knock it back in and uh, Josh T King just takes a brilliant touch and absolutely smashed the leather off the ball into the bottom corner. No chance for Ward to get to, not his fault that he couldn't get to the shot but his fault for the build up with him uh, not claiming that ball when it came in. Uh, Cherries did almost snatch an unlikely point of the death as well. Uh, as Cook headed just over but we did manage to see out the three points and claim, claim the victory which I'm pretty happy about uh, so let's have a look uh, to be honest pretty even game in the second half especially and the stats show that as well with uh, Bournemouth shading the possession slightly uh, with 51% and they had 18 shots to go, with us only having one more with 19, uh, but we did shade it with attempts on target with six shots to their five. Uh, passes completed was again close with Bournemouth on 81%, uh, completed to our 80.9. Uh, 
and there was only one clear cut chance in the game which was the Firmino tap in for the first goal um, looking more defensively the only significant difference was the tackles completed uh, but the Cherries only completing 70% uh, of the tackles they went for where we won an outstanding 94.7% of our tackles that we attempted. So that was an amazing start, guys. Amazing start and great work from the boys out there. Uh, but to be fair, the majority of our 11 didn't really have any or really little Premier League experience and definitely showed they have a future. Uh, and using the kids is something that Klopp could do. Uh, going into next season, uh, use then bulk up his squad, get rid of the players he doesn't really want, and save a little bit of money on the transfer uh, budget. And that way, you can buy a big name signing, or maybe two, uh, to add to the squad. But that's a discussion for another day. We'll do that in uh, the summer, in pre season. But if you have enjoyed this, guys, please make sure that you hit that like button and let me know in the comments below what you thought of the game, guys. And as always, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.